As you know, influencers always seem to be up to no good. Many times they are flaunting on social media to make their life appear more exciting than it is. Little did we know though, a lot of these influencers have been exposed for living fake lives. I'm going to tell you all about it right here on IO, but first if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Coming number 10, Hush Puppy. Nigerian influencer Hush Puppy once flaunted a life of luxury that many became very envious of. He seemed to have it all, from penthouses to expensive cars, Hush Puppy was always posting about his lavish lifestyle. He often and attach messages of motivation, but now people are realizing that it was all just a big scam. Recently, he admitted to conning people out of at least $24 million, including a million dollars that was meant for a children's hospital in Qatar. Anytime someone inquired about how Hush Puppy gained his wealth, he would claim that he amassed his fortune by playing the real estate market in Dubai. However, this facade he was putting forth was broken apart by the FBI, who raided the influencer's home and found $41 million in cash, 13 luxury cars valued at around $6.8 million, and phone and computer evidence containing more than 100,000 fraud files and the addresses of nearly 2 million possible victims. He then was arrested and flown to the US where he was transferred to a jail in California where he will await his sentencing. Coming number 9, French Fakery. A French influencer by the name of Ocean El Himar, who rose to fame on a reality show, posted a photo of herself in business class thinking that no one would recognize her. She captioned the photo with, next stop, Monaco. But unfortunately for her, a fan ended up spotting her in economy class wearing the exact same outfit as in the post. They then took a sneaky pic of the influencer in her seat and within a matter of moments it went viral on Twitter. Honestly though, a lot of people were split on this. Some praised her for knowing how to save money while also flaunting a lifestyle online to continue getting paid, while others said that exposing her was important to make sure her followers don't fall victim to these unrealistic expectations. One user points out, it's good to expose these unrealistic standards, these fake internet models set for young girls and boys so they don't grow up idolizing the wrong people in the wrong lifestyle. Couldn't agree more. Coming in number 8, Chase McNary. A bachelorette contestant actually tried to persuade someone into giving him free rent. As you can see in this email request, they said that they were reaching out on behalf of a Bachelor in Paradise contestant and social influencer named Chase. After bragging about the big following that he has, then the begging begins. Right at the bottom of the email, you can see that they request for free rent by saying, As a Denver local and owner of Revel Social, Chase is looking to partner with an apartment complex in Denver as a live-in social influencer and absolutely loves your property. If this is something you would like to discuss further, please let me know. What in the hell is a live-in influencer? That's that's my question. I guess most influencers just live in the wild? I, I just can't get over how bold someone would have to be to say that their follower count equals free rent. Coming number 7, Victoria Waldrop. Also known as Woe Vicky, this famous kid came under a ton of fire for cultural appropriation when she began posting videos on Instagram claiming to be black. Her first rise in popularity came during the lotion challenge back in 2017, and since then her online antics have raised some questions. Namely, how does one stop this famous kid from continuously acting more and more ridiculous than she is? It really just comes down to the way that she behaves in nearly every video that she was posting. Throwing money around, calling people out, and flexing way too much for someone that young. Seriously though, where are her parents and has anyone asked them why she's allowed to be so crazy online? I, I just have a lot of questions about this chick. Coming number 6, Virtue Signaling. Okay, so this one is just next level clout chasing, and the worst part is that it's coming from a lot of micro-influencers. After the Henan province was devastated by massive floods and torrential rain, it destroyed thousands of homes and resulted in an economic loss of $384 million. Reportedly, the catastrophic landscape started to become the perfect backdrop for Chinese influencers to post videos where they pretended to be saving people. Yes, they were actually pretending to save people. One report said that an influencer even went as far as stealing a rescue boat to make their videos seem more legit. When stopped by the actual people that were trying to rescue people, you can hear a rescuer shouting, It's crystal clear to everyone here that you weren't really trying to save people, you are scumbags. Well, that's one way to deal with them. Coming number 5, Daisy Marquez. Some of the influencers are really out here trying anything and everything to garner more attention for themselves. And if that means faking that your house is haunted, then so be it. YouTuber Daisy Marquez is a prime example of this after she posted a video to Twitter where the door behind her mysteriously opens. Immediately her eyes open wide in shock as she tells her audience that she might be getting stalked by a ghost. Although one fan exposed her by saying, Am I the only one that thinks this is too sage? Having seen Daisy's videos, she probably would never film in that lighting, and it looks straight out clickbait, considering she posted about going on on house hunting a few days before posting this. Coming number 4, Carolyn Stritch. Faking on Instagram just seems so commonplace nowadays, from airbrushing blemishes or enhancing a sunset, or like Carolyn, completely faking a trip to Disney. This UK based influencer with 457,000 followers decided to pull the wool over people's eyes twice. 
Although she was more so doing this as an experiment to prove to people just how easy it is to fake your life online. The influencer, who was 32 at the time, posted a heavily edited photo of herself and captioned it with, Tomorrow I'm going to be 22 and I'm treating myself with a trip to California, I'm off to Disneyland. Then she posted an edited photo of herself standing in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle. However, if you've ever been to Disney, then you'd know this was photoshopped almost immediately. To get a photo like that with absolutely no other tourists around you would be next to impossible. It would require them to actually shut down the entire area, but regardless, her post was still liked by over 17,000 people and impressed many in the comment section. Tell me number three, caught in the act. In a perfect world, influencers would make it illegal for people to take photos of them that they intend on photoshopping later. You know, so that they don't get brutally exposed online for living a fake life. Unfortunately for this influencer, some eagle-eyed spectator had caught the moment that she was doing a photo shoot for her Instagram, and the photo that she actually posted is insanely different. As you can see, she had used some crazy photo editing to make herself completely unrecognizable from the image taken on the right hand side, which looks like an aerial shot that someone snapped while passing by this parking garage photo shoot. It could be a copycat, but most likely she has used some filtering app or Photoshop to get the fake image that she wanted. Coming number two, Belle Gibson. Back in the early days of Instagram, influencer Belle Gibson was one of the first major con artists. In the 2010s, this Australian wellness influencer got tons of followers for promoting a diet of clean eating and launching an app called The Whole Pantry. Here's where things started to get a little bit weird though. She told her followers that this diet that she had created had been helping her battle and even cure multiple types of cancer, including a brain tumor. After doing tons of tours and speaking gigs, she said that she had been diagnosed with more cancer. Following that, she released a cookbook and promised her followers that the proceeds would would be going to various charities. However, in March of 2015, a report surfaced that said the $300,000 that she had made had not been donated anywhere. She then tried to claim that she had been falsely diagnosed with cancer, but then later admitted that she never had any type of cancer. And by 2017, a federal court in Melbourne had ordered her to pay $410,000 in fines for false charity claims. Last but certainly not least, our number one spot, Lil Tay. This once innocent kid busted onto the social media scene with her ridiculous videos of money, cars, and expensive items. People had so many questions like, where did she get all this money? And how is she sitting in a Lambo? And more importantly, where are her parents? Lil Tay got a ton of hate online for her short flexing videos, but in doing so, she also gained millions of followers. We soon realized that her family, namely her brother and her mom, were behind the scenes coaching Lil Tay into behaving this way. But now that she's had a taste of fame, even she believes it was all her idea, calling herself even the youngest nine-year-old flexor of the century, which just means that her family has completely inflated this poor kid's ego. But that has been the top 10 influencers exposed for living fake lies part two. But before we get out of here, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled Karen Sues McDonald's for something she did. Chun Kai Feng says, damn, her morals worth only $14. She obviously has no faith. Facts. Big facts. Janice says she probably tackles her microwave for not heating her food fast enough. I I, I'm guessing you're right on this one. Cherry says, it's the McGrets. McGrets. <laughs> Everyone has suffered from them at least. Everyone has suffered from them at one time or another. Usually alcohol is involved. This is the first I've heard of religion being involved. Same here. Same here. McGrets. Hashtag McGrets in this comment section right now. Matthew Steele says, here's Johnny. Stay awesome. Great job, y'all. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate your comment. Just the Clapper says, can I sue the school system because I don't have the career and income I planned on having as a child? This one's almost too real. Can I sue the school system? I mean, I'm, I got a piece of paper hanging on my wall that's just an expensive piece of paper. It really does nothing. I'm gonna, it, let me know, let me know how far you get with this one. But guys, that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try.